Hello my lovelies, this is going to be a base makeup routine which is transfer proof and sweat proof and lately my base makeup has been so flawless so you don't want to miss the tips and tricks in this one. So first things first, you need to have a good skin prep. Now this does not mean that you need to do a 10 step skincare routine. Just a primer or a moisturizer would suffice. I'm using this Dior Prestige Makeup Primer. This is a really hydrating, glowy primer. And I'm using this because I got a tester for my sister. Otherwise, I would never spend that much money on just a primer. As you can see, that is pretty glowy. It has given me the moisture and the hydration that I needed to have before my foundation. But I'm still going to go one step forward and I'm going to do this e.l.f. Halo Glow because this also does give me a little bit of coverage which I like and it has a peachy tone so I just apply it like that and then with a damp beauty sponge I'm going to blend it all in my skin honestly from a day-to-day -day basis I would just apply this elf halo glow and then do a little bit of concealer under my eyes and that would be like my everyday makeup look also, I did this eye makeup off camera, so if you guys want a tutorial on this, I would be happy to do it. Okay, so now the next step is foundation, and lately I've been loving this House Labs foundation. If you guys want to know, my shade is 280 Light Medium Neutral, and what I do is just four little pumps like this, and then go directly in with my damp beauty sponge. The shade match is so beautiful, oh my god. And I like this because it gives me like enough coverage without making my skin feel heavy or cakey. And you're gonna see that in a minute. And it's super easy to blend. Do you know I have hyperpigmentation around my mouth and it has covered that so beautifully. I could essentially apply it under my eyes as well. And it would like give me a one tone complexion. But because I like highlighted under eyes, that is why I use a different shade of concealer. After foundation, the next step for me is always contouring. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. It, um, it's not e.l.f. It's milk. In the shade Baked. I'm going to carve out some cheekbones a little bit on my nose. I don't do too much of this because then I do cream bronzer and powder bronzer. So that gives me a really nice um bronzy look just lightly and it blends like a dream i was looking for my makeup by mario bronzing stick and i couldn't find it anywhere then i realized i gave it to my mom so i need to go repurchase that because that one also blended so beautifully now that this contour is done next step is cream blush and i'm gonna use this house labs no why am i saying all names wrong this is the hourglass unreal liquid blush they recently came out with this this is in the shade scene and i love it so much it's kind of tricky to work if you have long nails which i don't what the hell is happening i need to shake this there we go oh my god I'm just gonna ignore that i feel like this i need to blend with a brush because it really did not give me any color maybe i need to shake it more i think it would be better if i take it out on my hand because you can never have too much blush. Now I'm gonna take my blush brush, which is this e.l.f. putty blush brush, and I'm gonna blend it. Okay, now there we go. Now I see some color. You know with um, bold eye looks, like this one that I've done, I think a lot of blush looks good. I'm never too afraid to apply too much liquid blush because I do my concealer afterwards because if you go too overboard with your blush you can always tone it down with a concealer. Honestly my skin looks so glowy right now I wish I could go out like this like a full glazed donut but okay for concealer I'm gonna use Hourglass. I feel like ever since I got this I have not been using any other concealer like this is just so good. I got this for my sister as well and guess what she did not like it I always like to go with a little bit at first because it is very hard to manage if you go too much in one go and my shade in this is fawn just look at the difference it is so beautiful it's so hydrating first of all it is brightening and it blends like a dream also, if you want even more coverage than this, the trick is to apply it, let it sit for like 15 seconds, and then blend it 
and I'm blending it with my House Labs concealer brush. If you want a cheaper alternative, I have this Ulta Beauty buffing concealer brush. Works just as good. Do is also apply a little bit in the middle of my eyebrows, on the bridge of my nose, chin, and cupid spot because this is the center of your face and it needs to be highlighted. So the trick of applying the concealer on the bridge of your nose is kind of like if you don't know how to contour your nose, just put bronzer on your nose and then put your highlighting concealer on the bridge of your nose, blend it out in one straight line and it would kind of look like you've contoured your nose. It's kind of like the fake it till you make it. So this is a part which I don't like but I can't go out without it which is the powder. So I love how my skin is looking right now but you all know if I go out in the Florida sun like this, it's gonna melt. Obviously I'm using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake and I'm going to powder down my whole face basically. So this is before, after. And my Easy Bake is in the shade Pancake, especially around my nose. Because not only do I get oily, I also sweat. I'm not very demure. Also around my mouth as well, because this area tends to crack when you sweat. So, if you guys don't know how to take this shit out, just take the back of your brush, swirl it around. And so much product comes out in the middle of my brows because they've been looking really oily my face is powdered down it's time to go in with some bronzer i'm going to use this charlotte tilbury bronzer and just go over where we put our contour so like that it is just so beautiful i feel like this is the best money that i've spent on charlotte tilbury which is also a lie because i love all the other things they have but this one is really really good my forehead kind of gets on my hijab and my hijab cap as well always cover your jawline as well because then it looks like two separate colors so i'm gonna take my damn beauty blender and just go over this very lightly to kind of make sure that there are no harsh lines I'm going to take my favorite powder blush you guys will probably not be expecting this. This Rare Beauty blush has been literally my favorite. It's on your skin so beautifully and this is in the shade Cheer. Now I like to call it a blush highlighter duo because it also gives you really nice sheen on your cheeks. Pigment? Oh my god, it is super pigmented so make sure you go very lightly. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Now look at that. Look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful, gorgeous blush shade? It's so corally and I love the fact that it has like some highlighting chunks. Not chunks, like you can't really see them, but it's just so beautiful. I think in my opinion, that looks really gorgeous. At this point, you're going to take your Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. A cheaper dupe for this is the Milani, what's it called? Milani something. That is a great dupe for this one. I really don't think this does anything to keep my makeup in place all day long, but it does something to my skin. It gives it the glow. And for some reason, my base makeup with this spray tends to like melt all together and it just looks so beautiful. I mean, it does something. Now at this point, I'm going to do my lipstick. Huda Beauty 2.0 Terracotta. So I'm gonna use this NYX lingerie. This is in the shade Lipley 02. Such a beautiful nude shade for brown skin tones. I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil. I'm going to blend it all together. On top, I feel like just in the middle, I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. Now on top, I'm gonna do the Summer Fridays vanilla beige lip balm gorgeous makeup is all complete how do we make it transfer proof you might ask one size on till dawn this is what's gonna make it transfer proof 
I love the fact that it's a dry spray so you apply it on your eyes your basically everywhere and it doesn't smudge your makeup i really hope you like this makeup if you did you can give it a like leave your comment and i will see you guys in the next one bye